Oh, a powerful message from a woman who nearly lost her life in an off-roading accident. Although Julie doesn't remember the days right after her ATV crash in Love Lock, she told me the accident and the recovery really changed her outlook on life. And now the new mother is taking every opportunity to give thanks and spread a potentially life-saving message. The adrenaline of riding, the wonders of exploring. Oh, I love to hike. <laughs> I love to explore especially the rugged terrain off-road. But a couple of years ago, on a dusty Lovelock trail, Julie Nelson and her sister lost visibility on their ATVs. At this point, I don't know if I yelled that to her, like, can you see? Or if that was just my thought and then the accident happened. Thrown off without a helmet, Julie clinged to life as CareFlight rushed her to Renown, where she says the on-call neurosurgeon and fellowship-trained spine surgeon saved her life. It was Swift Institute's Dr. Edward Perry who performed a decompressive craniectomy to treat her traumatic brain injury. Her brain was swollen to the point where if we didn't take her to surgery to take the pressure off, like you say, yeah, she was going to pass away. And even if she didn't, bruising on her brain, he feared, might limit her speech. We can do a surgery to allow her to survive, but my concern was, was would she ever be able to speak and interact with her family like she had before? Julie underwent extensive rehab physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy. Can you kick that foot out? Good. Nice. Wow, great. This one. Good. But after months relearning to walk and talk, she longed for one more thing. But I want to know the man that saved my life. <laughs> so what did you do? So for my 32nd birthday, I had my parents come drive me up to Renown to see if I could possibly meet him. It was not planned. And neither was this. During our interview with Dr. Perry. This is a picture after the bone flap is removed that kind of shows where we decompress the brain to allow it to swell a little bit and then simply recover on its own. <gasps> oh, God, you made a whole nother trip. She surprised him again with her baby girl, Daniela. I'm completely humbled. It's been a few years since the accident, and although Julie still struggles with finding words linked to aphasia, she's made a remarkable recovery. The amazing part about her story is how severe her aphasia was and how with intensive rehab and, and her own drive from within, that's all I can call it, was able to recover to a very meaningful life, a mother working, involved with her family. I mean, it's really incredible. While she's not opposed to writing again in the future, I will go again, however, I'll have a helmet, <laughs> and I won't go too fast. Oh, what a miracle, really, right? And as for the aphasia, which affects an estimated one million Americans every year, Julie is hopeful for a full recovery. She tells me she plans to keep in touch with Dr. Perry.